Eric and Chris here. We are at Star Wars Celebration. They are right about to wrap up here, but we just came out of the final panel of the entire convention and learned a little bit about the new Han Solo movie. We did. What, what did we learn here? Well, we met him for a start. Yes. Uh, the directors, Lord and Miller, came out, uh, talked about the audition process. 3,000 people they said they saw. Yeah. And then, unbelievably, the first person they saw was the one that got the role, Alden Ehrenreich. Yeah. And we, you know, yes, news had broken that he was cast a while back. This was the first official confirmation from Lucasfilm. And, uh, you know, I, would, I really liked what Lord and Miller was saying about Han Solo as a character. They talked a lot about why we love Han Solo. Yeah. And they, they talked about how he was a mixture of a cynic and an optimist, uh -huh. and as they said that, I go, yeah, yeah I, I yeah. think these guys know what the hell they're talking about here. Yeah, they call him a maverick and a, and a scoundrel. They said he wants to present himself as a cool, tough guy, but at the end of the day, he always does the right thing, yeah. which is kind of why we love the character. Right. Uh, they also said he has the biggest heart in the universe, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, they said he's very sarcastic. Um, uh, you tell him to not to do something, he'll always do it. So right. this is the kind of Han Solo we're going to see. It's the one we've come to know and love. But I was wondering if it was going to be before he turned into this more cynical character. But maybe we're going to see him like this from the off. Right, right. And it was really the dichotomy that they said was the appeal. That the fact that one man can be both sides like that. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm repeating myself, but I still really love what they said about a guy who's very cynical, and yet also he's like, "Hey, it's me." You know, you think about all the Han Solo moments, and he's snarky, and he's like, "Yeah," but at the end of the day, he's very full of himself, but mm. in a very likable way. Yeah, yeah. And believes he will get the job done. They said he's not the smartest guy, but you still, uh, he's he's just so you know likable, and you just root for him for that reason. Yep. And uh, he didn't really say a lot when he came out. He said that he only told his mum. He couldn't tell anyone else, but of course it's been the worst kept secret in Hollywood for the last few weeks. Yeah. And so he said people have been constantly coming up to him and congratulating him, and he's just not really been able to say anything. He's just kind yeah. of smiling. Yeah. Uh, but he said when he went back to his mum's house, she took out the toy box, and all his toys are still there, including his Han Solo figure, which is kind of cute. I thought one of the most endearing moments was actually when John Boyega came out as a surprise, sit and was sitting right next to him, and was just like, and John, you know, John Boyega is so likable and has such enthusiasm. Yeah, he's yeah. a fan, and he just turns to me and goes. Something like, man, you're Han Solo, man. I think he said man twice. Uh, and he was, and, he, and then when Aiden smiled, he goes, you've got the smile, got the you know? Smile, and yeah, and yeah. He, you kind of did see it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that, you know, we did not learn any other details. They did talk about how he screen tested with Chewbacca. Yeah. Because you have to screen test with, with uh, that's, that's the most important charisma yeah, that will be in this movie. The finalists all screen tested on Millennium Falcon and he screen tested with Chewbacca and, and, and got the role, so. Yeah. But that was all, we kind of wanted a bit more, but. Yeah, but they said, you know, the movie is uh, months away. They said they're still working on the script yep. with the Kazdans. Uh, and they also mentioned, of course, it was Kathleen Kennedy mentioned that Larry Kasdan really pushed for Lord and Miller. Yeah. Like she was like, these are the guys. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the right tone, the right sensibility. And I think that's what's made a lot of us who are worried about this movie, like why do a Han Solo prequel? I think we keep going, but it's Lord and Miller. Yeah. You know, they'll make it right. So. Yeah. And finally, they said they are going to shoot in January or February. They're going to start principal photography. Yep. So a few months away, and then hopefully we'll start learning a lot more. I'm sure there's plenty more casting. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for what we learned about Han Solo and it for what we learned here at Star Wars Celebration. But thanks for watching all. And we'll have plenty more about Star Wars on a non-stop basis here at IGN.